learning new details about the armed suspect who set off a barricade in downtown Las Vegas. News 3's Georgia Coast is live at Metro headquarters with the new information from investigators on what prompted two officers to open fire and kill this man last week. Yeah, police say this is the fifth officer involved shooting of the year, which have all led to fatalities. Now, police have identified that suspect involved in last week's altercation as 49 year old Seth Samuel Wilson, who, if you recall, last Thursday were what went into the deluxe lofts on 9th Street and between Stewart and Ogden Avenues. Now, if you look a little bit at those details, it shows that Metro investigators say that they received a lot of those calls just after 12 p.m. that Thursday, where callers reported they heard Wilson yelling and making several threats to kill. Now, once officers arrived, they began searching for the suspect and determined Wilson lived on the third floor of that building. Now, Metro detectives say police were able to contact Wilson by phone and ask him to surrender, but police say before he was able to hang up on them, Wilson said, quote, I am done with this. Now, officers say minutes later, Wilson exited the apartment with his rifle pointed upwards, but then proceeded to point his weapon towards officer Matthew Kravitz, who then opened fire, shooting Wilson eight times with a rifle, followed by officer Andrew Buckland, who shot another six rounds from his rifle as well. Now, officers were then able to place Wilson under custody, who was then pronounced dead at the scene, leaving many of those residents who called 911 to report the suspect in shock. Now here is one of those initial phone calls. I can't even believe what the heck I'm saying right now. A guy standing there pointing a rifle, semi-automatic rifle at the door, basically where my head just was. And I just, I, I, I you know, I'm thinking it's hey, fake. This can't even be real. He's got a, a red a Make America Great hat on. Now, police say right now they don't have much information to determine whether this act was racially profiled. Now, coming up in our later shows, we'll also have more information on Wilson's criminal past, which shows this wasn't the first time he had an incident with a deadly weapon and was charged for the act. Now, police also say that both officers involved in that shooting are doing just fine, but have been placed on administrative leave pending this investigation. But for now, reporting live at Metro Headquarters, Georgia Costa News 3. A lot of details revealed in that press conference. George, thank you for the latest.